Joe Yo, it's Ricky Tice. Truth of NYC. <laughs> Yo, man. I gotta roast this bitch today. In my words, in my opinion. I gotta roast that bitch. Yo ass fighting with police on camera. Refuse go by what the police said. And you're using your son as a fucking shield. They're trying to take your son away from you so they can apprehend you and take you in. How the fuck did that bitch get released? Well, she had a fucking warrant for a credit card fraud in New Jersey. Only in New York. I'm saying only in New York. The chick had a warrant. How the fuck you gonna let her ass go on a fucking warrant? She said her ass should have stayed in Rikers. I'm saying the moment she stepped out that fucking precinct is the moment I fucking place her under arrest and put her right back at put her ass right back into the precinct and right back in Rikers so you can wait for transportation to New Jersey what I have been told by other police officers when your ass got a fucking warrant <clears throat> doesn't matter what state you in doesn't matter what what state where the warrant is placed at you going in. <clears throat> Your day is over. You're going in. You're going to have to go over there and go handle that warrant. <clears throat> you know, and these fucking places for daycare and shit, oh, it's overcrowded. I don't give a fuck. It's simple like this, man. Y'all live in the fucking projects. Y'all claiming about this and that. <clears throat> This and that and the third. But y'all here fucking rocking name brand shit. Newest phone, the newest gear out, the newest clothes. It's cold outside, you got your Uggs on, you got the Uggs coat, you know. And you coming out the fucking buildings. Who pays for that shit? We do. Taxpayers pay for that shit. Fuck I'm paying taxes for you for, for what for? For your ass can be fucking lazy, have a baby or two, and go live up in the fucking project so you're gonna fabulous. But now you're down here, now you're down at the fucking at the daycare clinic so you can get your know, fucking so you can get your son some fucking daycare shit. And I look at your fat motherfucking mother too. Same same thing. This shit is passed down, man. Section 8 is passed down. Her mom was on Section 8, raised her daughter. Pass the shit down to a, to a daughter. Oh, she's 23 years old. Bitch, 23 years old, shouldn't be having no kid. Especially when you're not married. Your ass should have been going to school. Get the fuck out of New York. Go find a man who's going to appreciate you and not impregnate you. You know, every day that I work in the Bronx and Manhattan, I see it. Especially over there in the projects, in the housing areas, I see it. The bitches rocking around, they fucking EBD. EBT cards and shit, the food stamps, the Medicaid cards and shit like that. You know, I mean, yo, I'm sitting on a city bus yesterday. <clears throat> looking at this fine ass chica. I'm like, man, she's fine. Oh, I look like she's around my age, but look like she had a fucking titties and ass done and shit. <clears throat> the iPhone, the nails, <clears throat> flowers in her hand. Leather jacket on, eyebrows dead, makeup and all that shit. <clears throat> Noticing, I know she was struggling through her, through her pocket, her leather, 
through her fucking pocket, pulling out some cards. I'm like, I'm looking like, damn, this bitch got like fucking seven, like eight, I kind of like eight credit cards, right? Eight credit cards and turned out to be, I kind of looked at a fucking EBT. I kind of looked at the card and I was like, oh shit, she got an EBT. Really? And she got a tramp stamp on the lower back too? I said, really? This bitch is living fucking ghetto fabulous and my ass is over here on a bus going to another work lo location. She got the fucking the Apple earbuds and the iPhone. I'm like, ah, oh, this is that. I said, come on with this shit, man. That's all you fucking single mothers do? Huh? That's all y'all do? You go out there, you go fuck around with a fuck nigga, you have his baby. You know, you want to be a responsible man and handle his business, but yet you kicked him out the house. Or you said, I don't want him around no more. So you can march your ass right on down to child support and welfare and all that little shit so you can get the benefits. I'm saying there are responsible fathers like me who handle their business. But I'm waiting and I'm hoping they fucking fix this child support system up and go off on and go off on both incomes instead of just one income. Oh, he's a working man. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm saying I'm like crazy bitch, yo, wouldn't be me, ain't no chairs in the place, oh well, let's go outside, oh, I got my, I got my young baby with me, should have left his ass home, leave him home with your section eight, with the section eight grandmother, you know, see, the women, take advantage of this shit talking about I got my own apartment I got this and that <clears throat> and uh, you know they got the newest clothes I got the newest phone out and shit <clears throat> but you're pushing a stroller no driver's license no car. Sometimes they'll brag about the car they got from the dealership, whatever. Because on that, once they're on that fucking program, they can get. Once they're on that program, oh, extra income, child support. Okay, we can get you a good deal on a nice car. Good traffic outside right now. It's moving good though. Heading over to the to the GW. Normally I take the train to work, but you know, hey, take the train to work or I drive to work. But I'm driving to work because it's easy for me to get to work by train. I mean, it's easier by car. I get to work in 40 minutes. Go on my train, it took me like fucking damn it, an hour and a half. So, and the new welfare to Queens, I don't give a fuck what you think about me. It's the fucking truth. You know, all you are doing is passing down 
your inheritance over to your kids. And these Dominicans, the young Dominican girls, y'all following what your mother's doing. You're following what other single mothers are doing. You're young. Do your thing. Stop wearing all this fucking tight shit and make and makeup. You know? To me, y'all just a bunch of niggas who can swim. Black just like me. But y'all don't claim your African heritage. But when you go to Spain, they gonna look at you, shit, you're just another nigga. And they gonna claim like, yeah, my ancestors had you. I said, I guess my ancestors owned your owned your ancestors. Raped and pillaged. We raped your women. Y'all had babies. Oh wells. Huh. <laughs> yes, we had you. Spanish came, took away their language of the Africans, raped the women and the men too. Started speaking Spanish. That's <sighs> some other shit, man. on the buses in the Bronx the BX9 the BX22 the BX12 plus single mothers single moms that's all I see right there on the right there on Fordham Road they all, they all out there I seen this one woman with uh, pushing a stroller and she's already pregnant Again, I'm like, damn, pushing our babies get on that fucking program. You think LBJ for that shit, Lyndon Johnson? Now, suppose. Out of reform, suppose they cut that shit off completely. Money ran out. Then what your single mothers will have to be doing is go looking for a man, go get back with your kid father, who's already made himself successful. So go see what he's doing. Hey babe, I'm sorry. Can me, can me and the kids come move in with you since you already have your place? The Section 8 food stamps and all that stuff has been cut off. Medicaid is still free. It's still affordable for those who can still have it. You know, and that motherfucker going to be like, no. You put me on child support, go ask child support. Instead of living off that one little ass income of the what the man's making. So yo, I'm Ricky Tice. I'm just putting a little knowledge out there, man. Cause that bitch and that bitch. Whew, that, that oh my gosh, that chick, man. I don't know why the fucking police let her ass out for it and drop the charges. Fuck that. If you fucking, like I said, if that was a fucking black man with a kid, his ass would have been fucking Rikers. Oh, let that be a white lady. Oh my goodness. Oh, let that be a white lady. Hot. I mean, shit. Those black cops would have lost their jobs already. That black chick, I don't know. You got a fucking warrant in Jersey for your arrest, and yet, and he still let you loose? How's that so? 
Now they want to fucking file and sue. Nah, bitch, you fucking put up a show inside of a fucking in a fucking welfare clinic in a place where you can try to recertify your son to get more daycare and shit, knowing that that's what you fucking single moms do anyway. You go down to the fucking clinic just to get fucking daycare and all that shit. You know who pays for that shit? The person you got the motherfucker on child support for. Paying for daycare. Sorry, buddy. Wish I can help you out on the. Wish I can help you out, dude. You got a flat tire and you got a baby in the car. I got to run flat to my car. Oh, man. Yo, I'm going to get on. Concentrating on this road. It's going to, well, it's going to start snowing this morning in New York. Wish it snowed harder, but it's going to turn into rain later. Peace.